Welcome to the Three River Valley series for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. And we're picking up on the 10th of August 1957, which is a couple of months on from the end of the last video, but it's been quite an important couple of months, but I'll come to that in a little while. But first things first, big thank you for all your comments and feedback. As usual, you guys give me a lot to think about. Now, all the comments seem to focus around this area, which I built up in the last part. I did get a comment about my pretty awful bridge here and I'll be completely upfront. I'm not too happy with it, uh, but this is the best I could do because the constriction here, the game wouldn't let me actually place it. And one of, one of the awkward things was, was actually getting this ramp down this side. And I think it's got something to do with the contour here that the game wouldn't let me bring the bridge in. Plus the fact, and I did try, whoops, I did try actually raising the ground here, but it didn't work. It uh, I couldn't get it high enough, and I think that's because of the tracks and this road here. And also, it just it wouldn't seem to come up that high on this side either. So that's the reason why I built this slightly awkward bridge. Now, I also got a comment about the brick factory here, and that was maybe a bit too close, but I actually measured the distance. Um, I think I did measure it. Let me see. I think we're the, fact, the brick factory is now about 600 meters away, uh, which should be more than enough or 700 meters away from this pit here. And the idea behind this brick factory, because some of them are saying I don't need two brick factories. Well, I want to rip this one down because it is causing pollution. And I want this one here, partly because I wanted it on this side of the tracks as well, because uh, the the long term idea is because wh when you're building even a quite a big economy, that uh, you don't really need. Well, technically, you could get away with one brick factory, but uh, uh, because of the nature of the way we're playing this map at the moment, which is divided in half, I'm going. I want two brick factories, and the idea is this brick factory will supply all the bricks for the construction in the southern half of the map. Um, but so this is the reason why I want to put it here. I know I couldn't connect it to my port over here, but I think it'd be adequate for what I want to do. And of course, we've also got the pickup point here for shipping bricks and stuff around there. So it's kind of reasonably well positioned once I get a couple of distribution offices in to plug the gap. And then, of course, once this one's gone, I've, I've kind of pushed a conveyor belt system up to here to connect into here. And what I've also done is I've put another aggregate store down here. So what that hopefully what we'll be able to do is have a choice of exporting both coal and gravel. But the gravel is more of a kind of backup for possibly building this area over here, which I suppose is a good segue into my whole kind of bit of a quasi mess here with my port. Because this wasn't part of my original grand strategy. My, my, the idea was is that I would use rail, but I must admit I'm, a, I'm greatly underestimated how long it's going to take to get the rail out. So the port is the fallback situation. And the idea is, is these ports will um, supply the um, goods to this area because this is an area I want to build up really big time with crops and an oil refinery. So the idea is, is that I can get once we've got this bridge built we'll probably be looking to put some uh ports in along here one will certainly be the pumping station as someone suggested because this is where the oil is going to be but i think i can get the fuel to this town in this area by rail but the main thing i would like to do possibly is use the pumping station here to send the fuel up river so this is going to be something i want to experiment a little bit about with is actually using ships to move the main goods along this river because it does act as an artery up through the center of our economy and it's something i've never really ever done in a series because i've always relied on rail and road so that's something i want to certainly want to experiment with uh the other thing i was trying to remember oh somebody also suggested a container port i did consider it but the problem is that the available container port is really big i know there's possibly mods that might have smaller versions but if you look on the mini map here there's a kind of lake up here and i'm thinking about having a big container port there because again containers is not something i've done a lot with in this game so it's something else i want to experiment and i think this is partly um the purpose of this series 
is to pos is to experiment with some aspects of the game that I don't normally use very much. But partly because uh, invariably by the time we get to the late game, when containers and uh, uh, and shipping becomes more important, including aircraft as well, uh, normally the series comes to an end because there's been an update. <laughs> Uh, I'm hoping that this time we'll be able to make a bit of progress. So, yeah, so a big thank you for your um, kind of contributions and feedback. But I, I'm aware that this is a little bit of a dog's dinner, but I'm hoping that I can get it sorted out here, sorted out so that I can actually do a bit of exploration. Now, one thing I have decided to do, I've been on an hour and, is, I've, I've, and it also ties into the port over here. That is the fact that I would like to start exploiting the coal and iron in this area. Now, whether it's going to be in the form of a steel mill or just producing coal and iron, which can then be shipped across the map, there's also an opportunity that we might be able to make some money just exporting the uh, coal and iron out to the NATO countries. But the main problem is that we've got this horrible road here. So I'm thinking that we might be able to put a port in here at the very least a uh, just a, a small like harbor port like this um right if we could put it in without yeah look at that okay we're gonna put this in as a marker <laughs> i've done it and the idea is going to be is that what we can do then is um use the ships to bring the materials to build this area here rather than hauling it all up over across this road here but I'm aware that we're going to need to get some goods down here because we're going to have to put a small community down here as well. So I've got a road crew um, working. I'm pushing the asphalt road out this way to get things done. And so that is something to do. The other thing I also noticed is that the health in this area, in fact, health, my general health isn't particularly that sparkling. And... Oh, that was, it's actually picked up a little bit. I think it was mainly through um, the winter. And what I've done is I've kind of put in a doctor's office here. And I'm, what I might do is get rid of this one. The doctor's office will have a bigger capacity. I just want to improve the health there. Now, so we've already covered a lot of what's going on in this area. Just to finish up the mechanical components factory here is coming along quite nicely now this is going to be a permanent industry the idea is is what this will do is provide the mechanical components for the construction here but of course i'm except for over there the construction is basically coming to an end in this area and the whole area is settling down so I, so if i'm not careful we could be in a situation where we're going to have construction offices doing nothing but we will be building a small village up over there but i'll get round to that so the idea is this mechanical component factory will work with the steel factory to give added value. And then once the construction industries move on, this will just be exporting this either by rail to the Soviet Republic or by ship to NATO. So, so this is going to become eventually an export position here. So that is the, the situation here. This Hopefully this will come together. Now, since the end of the last video, I've had a little bit of thought in this area. It took a lot of fiddling about to get this done, but what I've put in here is a conveyor belt system down to here. In fact, I think we're just at that job there. And the idea is, is to shorten the distance which these trucks here are doing to get up to here. And of course, this is they don't have a proper loading bay here. So the idea is, is that we're bring this conveyor down to here and what that means is that the dumpers in here which you can see one just coming up here can pick up from there and what that means is we should get a lot more iron ore into our steel mill now up here things got a bit interesting after the end of the last video because I got one of these blocks over here started to report that they were having a problem with um, water so I kind of checked the water out and if I come in here, you can see on, on the surface, the water pressure is good. But if I go below, what you'll see is we've got an overload through here. Now, as far as I can tell, because this tower is full, we've got a choke point here. 
so what I've done is I've put an extra pipeline in here and I've kind of put this mismatch in to put a secondary pipeline in here with a pump get more water into this building here because you can see at the moment this is everything it's produced and I don't think I think the maximum capacity is 120 I, I think I've got another connection should I need it yeah we've got another connection there so what I'm thinking is that if this pump isn't enough uh, I mean it does do because it's keeping this tank full what we can do is put a second pump in here we've got plenty of workforce and then get this going but I want to do this infrastructure first just to make sure that we're we actually get this because you can see this is I think this pump could be the choke point it's doing 68 cubic meters of water per day but this ta this city is nearly finished uh, the prison is coming along quite nicely the other problem I've got up here is the university so what I'm thinking and I think the kindergartens are starting to fill up as well so on this corner uh, what's the kindergarten? Yes, yeah, so the kindergartens are filling up. The, what I want to do is on this corner is we're going to get in uh, another kindergarten. Um, I think we can just put a kindergarten. I suppose we could have two kindergartens side by side. It doesn't really make that much difference, does it? Um, so we'll put another kindergarten there. And then what I want here is a another university where's the university and we'll just put in another one of these here put you there and then hopefully again this, this actual uh, city is starting to mature now so we don't need to worry too much about getting that so we want to get this built in here um the other problem i had was the hospital well the hospital's settled down a little bit now actually if i got you know i've got a full complement of staff in there so we'll get all this built into this corner and then this uh town will be relatively mature actually i want to keep the game on slow because i, I want to do a lot of design work and i don't want to do it in the snow so we don't want the game racing ahead too far. So I think that covers this area. Once this is built, hopefully that will keep everything going. Now, the before we go up north, because I want to do a lot of work up north, is I've got a little bit of an idea for here. Because we've got to put a bridge over here. But what I'm thinking is, is to take the road further south, cross the railway track here. Because I'm considering bringing a road up from here to here because we're gonna have a small uh village here actually let's just do what i need to do first and and we but i can't build anything yet here until i get some leveling done so what we're going to do is uh, let's just push this back a bit i'm going to put you there connect up that there and then just wonder do i have any kind of banky old excavators that I don't, I'm not using anymore because I'm pretty sure we got some new ones coming in uh, we, what we got to do here I think these could do the job couldn't they um, then that, that will then empty this free construction office as well right um, uh, um, I might kind of oh ah, okay we got four in here um, okay, we're just going to nick these two. I'm going to make sure I get the right ones then. Um, you I want to move you up here. I don't think these are particularly that good. I don't, yeah, maximum speed. Yeah, I think it's time to kind of finish up with this um, reconstruction office. Now, and we'll just send you up to here. And actually, thinking about it, we're going to need a free gas station here. And we've got two out of 12, that's good. So, plenty of. And then we'll put you there. And we'll 
put you um where are you yes yes guys um i think you probably need a couple of extra um oil tankers now why have you got no power supply it's a bit of a i would have thought that a little bit worried about oh you're just outside of range <laughs> It's about saying, I suppose. Right, we need a couple of oil tanks here. We go for speed. Year 61. Got 69. Year 2.5. Year 2.5. I want some capacity. It's always a choice between capacity and... Okay, we're going to have to stick... we get two more of those into there. So I think... The only other thing left here is the rail track trains, which is a little bit disappointing. They've taken quite a long time to actually lay the track. And I think part of the problem now is the run out time because these guys are a little bit slow. So again, part of my grand scheme is that I'm looking at this small village. We'll probably have the village south of the road. And then what I'm thinking is to have a a kind of a, an area here where we can bring railway lines in oh no yeah i suppose because so, this is a bit close and then the idea is is we'll have a passenger station for tourists a delivery station for um the goods for the village also an open store out and possibly to be able to deliver there because what i'm thinking is to have a rail construction office up here so eventually the one that's over there will get moved up to here. The alternative is that we move it into this area. And the idea is, is that we're, to try and speed up the outruns, uh, what we'll do is we'll push the rail construction office out. Alternatively, uh, we could put one over here because we're going to have the ports here, which are going to bring in the necessary, like the gravel. Or, or well, we could start with um, gravel and then turn to coal to supply the heating. So what we'll have is the ports here and we'll put a rail construction office out here, which will then uh, effectively reduce the outruns. So, well, that's the idea anyway. Right, we've been going for quite some time and I've, we've finally got to the north where I wanted to do some work. Up over here, things are going okay. But um, the one thing I do need in here is a distribution office because it, I the we've got the food factory online and what we're going to do is just put you there get the road crew working on this get that built we got so we are whoops thank you again so we are producing alcohol and food at the moment and as far as I know we've got uh, these guys actually delivering stuff at the moment now the idea is is that if i can well that's the one delivering to there uh because we moment we haven't got the silo finished um what's the other one doing just double check yeah bringing in the yeah food and you're delivering alcohol al al alcohol to the um <laughs> You need to pick, start picking up the alcohol from there because obviously your hunting hut there. Just check the pub. Um, pub's in here somewhere. Yeah, we're kind of a little bit. Now, this is the guy that's picking up the meat. Um, I'm going to put you on there as well. You can pick up the alcohol and that the pub and the hunting hut as well, actually. The alcohol. So there. this is not working 
all that very efficiently. So that means we probably haven't got meat. Got a little bit of meat in there, but hopefully we'll get that working. Yep. <laughs> so that is uh, the current situation there. Now, off camera, I did a little bit of work here because if you follow the series, you'll be aware that I've been kind of um and ahhing about the power supply. And I've finally decided to put a power station here and we can run off of the uh, the charcoal kilns here. And I put this in, but I'm not that happy with it now. So we're going to knock that down for the moment. The reason I'm not that happy with it is that I want to put a road link through to there. So what we're going to do is aggregate. Um, I'm going to have, I'm going to put this in about here on a rope so what we can do is import the coal and then eventually we could possibly ship coal once we got a coal mine working and then we get this working in this area i mean originally i put a power station here but i'm not happy with it now oh yeah the other thing i've also want to do yeah this is actually ready to go so that's being built i'm kind of looking at this area here and I think I need a bit more specialization because we've got kind of uh, dumpers and open holes kind of loafing around here. And I thought what I'm going to do is concentrate all the dumpers into here and then connect them to both offices so that we can get things going. The other thing I've also been thinking about is just for the fun of it is we're going to that road coming in that way. We're going to get a bit of a one way system going that way <laughs> just for the fun of it actually guys not nothing particularly that special but i want this to look like a uh, the main highway going through here and get that built and then we can have this road running through here and i i had a bit of a dilemma here because i didn't want to put a, a straight junction so i kind of put together this slightly iffy looking uh um, bridge structure here um, which is okay and then hopefully what I'll do is connect up to there and then I'm going to bring a road down on each side into here as well so that we'll have like a four-way junction here but uh, it's not as good as it should be now the next thing we're going to do is exactly what I did at the top part we're going to put in a Need a free gas station. So again, I'm gonna put you there, you up to there, and then we're gonna get a free construction office, and then we'll put you side. Um. And the gas station guy thing is uh, up here. The fuel delivery customs house. It's a bit icky, so make sure that up. I think these guys are probably going to need an extra couple of trucks, fuel trucks eventually. And uh, we'll set you to 100%. So what I want here is a couple of excavators. Um, turn off the auto detects. I don't want you wandering around the map. Um, I'm just going to come here, buy a vertical mechanism. Excavator, 18, there's 20, 26. Well, I'll get a couple of those out here as well. Because what I want to do in this area is uh, work on setting up my major uh, construction industry. And this is going to be the major one. This is the one that's going to supply the vast majority of the gravel to the map, either by rail or by ship. It's also going to be a major source of asphalt, concrete, prefabs, uh, cement. I think the only thing we won't make here is bricks. The feature I am going to be planning here now is the fact that the asphalt and concrete plants will also have um, helicopter platforms attached to them probably won't use them in the short term unless I have to because of course helicopters are expensive but the idea is is that uh, 
I'll, I'll be able to fly asphalt and concrete all over this area to get things going. Also up here, we'll probably have our um, rail construction yard, but still would be an issue. So that's kind of still on the... Uh, so that's still very much a, some uh, decision to be made. Now, before we get into this area here, all I want to do is just go down and see what's going on down here. And see, as I say, I'm more interested in those pipelines and to see what's being connected here. Um, I mean, I'm not expecting great things because, right, so we that still needs to be built because, of course, we're running on um, a kind of normal game speed at the moment. Um, okay, wanna, that's not being built actually. I, I think now I, I just. Apologies, I just want to keep things running slowly because we've got a lot of design work to do up top. Um, so this is coming together. I want that built. We've got sewage pipes under here that need to be built. Okay, um, right. Now we're going to get up to here. What I've got here is a whole section of gravel. And what I'm looking for is about five... Uh, gravel locations that's got 73 percent I want more than that I think the better ones are over here and all I'm looking for is anything that will give me a high percentage without actually uh, um, having to do any leveling oh we've got 88 percent there 90 percent 92 percent there Oh, we'll go for that. Um, what we got here is 68%. Oh, what we got here um, is 93, 94% there. If I come this way, can we get another one? Oh, look at that. That's 93%. Um, I think I even take an 85%. What we got here, 84. We got three at the moment. Oh, I saw 90% there, 91%. Let me just see if I can... Got 92% there. Oh, look at that, 99%. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4 there. And probably put... Uh, 1... It's there. So what we got is a whole series of um, quarries here. What I'm planning on is a possibly a small town here because of, because what I want to do is put the port along here with ships um, for exporting the gravel. We're also going to need a pumping station to, to receive the fuel which will come up from the bottom part um, from this area here. I click on there. We'll probably be bringing fuel up from here but eventually we got oil on that side of the map as well. So eventually we may be actually do I need a pumping station we got oil there but we also got oil there I think we might put a pumping station in and of course what we'll be because we'll be reducing prefabs and everything like that so we'll have a, a normal port here for shipping out all the good stuff now I've forgotten I had oil over there but of course this is going to be quite a big bridge over to here Actually, I think I'm playing on the wrong map, aren't I? I thought I was playing on... Oh, no, that's the 1900 map I did. The reason for my confusion is that I was recently looking at that map uh, for another project I got in mind. And I was looking at the map to kind of give myself ideas. And somehow I've managed to convince myself that I am actually pl was playing on that map. Obviously, I'm not. Uh, which is... I mean, it's not a big deal. It just means... Uh, might have to change my plans a little bit. And what this is road is to kind of hug the, this base here. And we're going to keep going this way. And it's going to be quite a long road, isn't it? <laughs> um, but I want this to be an access road coming in from here. And let's click that up there like that. Um, 
and then what we're going to do is got a a mark on a view about there and we'll put another one in there make sure all these have got not that it makes that much difference so we'll just accept that road there so the idea is that we'll have all the quarries along here and ah, and then what we're going to have is a couple of the loading points isn't it let me just see and then we're no truck loading no nope, unloading is it ah, oops i don't want that and then we're put uh kind of slightly angled out version there actually we could probably push this out a little bit that way now do um unloading or loading unloading whatever they are and that way and then I eh, don't like that um I think we'll use the ordinary conveyors and I say this is going to be a little bit on epic proportions not that one this one I think because I think we'll use the the footpath version. I always get a bit suspicious when the angles don't look good. And got you there. And then what I want is a, we're gonna have to find somewhere to put a large aggregate store. We get lots and lots of. Uh, now I want the aggregate store to be in this area, but. Uh, let me just see. Large aggregate store. Oh, that flushed up green. Flush that rounds. If we can find a. Well, we got that about there. Um, they so will probably put a small town there to support this. I think that. Um. Actually, quite like putting that in about there. This is a reasonably flat area. <laughs> Whoops. Get rid of you. Um, you. Um, we've got that is a, a footpath, isn't it? So we'll run a. Go a few in a little bit like that. Oh, look at that. We've done it in one span. That's nice. Then make sure we can get that come out that way. Make sure we can get the footpath out of here. Yep. That will come there. So we've now got the quarried stone coming to here. And then... What I'm looking for is to go in that direction that way. So what we're going to need is the all buried um, plant. Go to I want this to be reasonably tidy, and I do want it to be going in that direction. So rather than come up with some complicated way of doing things, we'll just put you. Out. Oops, free excavator. Wait. Uh, put you about there. We we'll just build this in. That can go there. One of uh, a bus stop in the center um, so that we can get that connected there we need that connection to go out that way so we can afford to put in a i think we just use the i don't really I haven't really used these that much so a um, new vehicle type available okay 
Um, in theory, it shouldn't be too long before... Um, it shouldn't be too long until the... Uh, the uh, What's it called? Paver is ready. Actually, I've just had a thought. It's not something I've used that often. Um, where is it? Roadside, roadside conveyors. Hmm. That could be interesting. I've never used these. So let me just put the other, what we call it, in. So we, we put the, not oh, quarry. If I put you in about there, roughly in parallel, doesn't have to be perfect. That. So we've got another, we've got two gravel processing and plus the options to go out for a third should we need it. Um, Right, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, conveyors, roadside conveyor. Oh, that makes it look a little bit tidier, doesn't it? So I've never ever really used these that much, um, but it makes sense. Uh, I'll just put you there. The road junction there, that's good. <laughs> um, Uh, connect that up to there. You the road through there, and then uh, well, I get a road out that way. No, thank you, game. So we're going to have to go out that way, but we could go out that way. Then again, we could always put the village over there. <laughs> the, we've got the case of the wandering villages at the moment. Okay, so we've now got this area here. We've got a connection into there, which will allow me to do the necessary there. Um, right, so we've now got the two ore processing. And then what I want to do now is... Uh, we need uh, an input, or not an input, what am I on about? The... Um, I always get a bit worried about the road situation here. You can put... That looks pretty good. But that's the wrong way round. Yeah. Um, no, it should be that way. Oh, no, it's the right way around. Sorry. Um, we'll put... I'm just going to get you some height. Um, like that. So we can get the road out from this direction. We get uh, as about as close as we can get. Um, I can flip that the other way. Um, that actually looks a bit tidier, doesn't it? Well, that's the wrong way around got to be that way round, isn't it? Um, oh, that's a bit better. Still not as tidy as I would like it. I'm just going to put that there. For some reason that's got... I think you have two connections on the same one. A bit worried about that. Can you have two connections on the same one? No, it's kind of... Um, I think that might be better because then the road's coming out on that side. Um, well, that's even better, isn't it? So we've got that didn't connect. <laughs> that means it's oh, it's connected anyway. So, and that means we can bring a road out. We can, this works there. Need to, come on, game. You can do it. Yeah, that can come to there. There. We've now got the two uh, quarries. We've now got the two stone processing capabilities. 
and then what we're going to do is i think we'll stick with the standard ones here and i'm gonna get some heights and then what i want is this to come forward like that with plenty of space we can put roads underneath like that so we've now got this this and what I want now is two large um, aggregate stores one on this this that way and one on this side like that and then we're gonna have another one on this side I want enough space so we can put a conveyor in the center like that we've now got a connection there we need to take this road that road will go out that way get a road under there oh, did that go underneath yes it did okay we'll take that that's why won't that connect don't tell me you've got a gradient issue or something like that a gradient issue just here okay let me just have a look <laughs> um we're gonna have to take you okay we're gonna have to remove you for the moment then we're gonna have to do a little bit of smoothing here um smooth oops but there we are why are we too far away i've got where are you? Um, we've got too far away, haven't we? Okay. Um, we just um, ah, of course, bulldozers. Um, construction office needs bulldozers, isn't it? To do smoothing. Okay, we're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Yeah, I forgot that um, uh, smoothing and, uh, um, for terrain editing actually needs bulldozers. I don't really want to bring a bulldozer out here, so what I have to do is kind of just have to use this as a smoothing tool that should be okay and um, uh, put you in here that way i mean truthfully if push comes to shove i can bring a bulldozer out should i need it um uh, i'll put you there that's that connect i don't think it did um building in the way game you can be annoying sometimes um you can kind of get it that way around that should yeah, that's up there now hopefully now i'm that's the way around <laughs> we'll get there don't worry you that way um maybe we'll give it a little bit of an angle like that we got the road that road connection is still good yep and that will come out that way and then we can take this road up through here that you can connect it there and you're gonna have to go up like round like some stupid thing like that but that's okay and get rid of that so we've now got down to this point here and what we've got now what's the connectors 
position it. So we've got two aggregate stores for gravel. That gives us an option if I show you the conveyor here. We can take off from this one to go to the port here. But what I, ideally what I would like to have is No, I'm not happy with that. What we will do is I'm a bit happy with that because that makes things a little bit more tidy and I can guarantee to get a footpath out. We've now got that there. Um, and then what I want to do is come down like that. Uh, use a and I want to use a footpath for this. So it's could be a bit messy. Um, I'm trying to think. I think if we put it there, we can take off that way. So what we got now is a. <clears throat> so what we got here is a distribution point to go to there, and. On this point, what I want to do is come to here. So this one will work on this side, won't it? What I'm looking for is we could actually we could probably do it like that, couldn't we? Keep it square that shouldn't interfere with the road actually let me just remove that and then we're going to stretch this down a little bit further um how far can i get it oh that's better like that and then we're putting the You can, yeah, I mean, that's going to make it look a lot neater and tidier. Also, it means I can pull the conveyor back a little bit from that road connection. And we'll just open that one up there. And then what I can do then is, oh, we've got a fire. Wait for the boom. <laughs> okay what we're gonna have to do is remove you and then go back to here it's one isn't it no but not the on the footpath version And we'll just put you in the center like that. That can go under there. That can go under there. That means I'll have two gravel pickups for rail. And eventually the rail will run out that way. Uh, we've got a connection that will go to a port down here. Which I doubt if I'll be able to build at the moment. But we'll give it a go. Um, what we want is... a. Aggregate loading. Fire extinguished. That's nice to see. And we can. Uh, it's pushing down a little bit again. Um, if we can get the road out. I've got a sneaking feeling that road's going to complain. So. We're going to need to work a little bit more on the... So there's no point leaving that there. But what we'll have is an aggregate port here. So we'll bring the conveyors down from here to here for the port. And then what we can also do is take off from here, which will go to our construction industry. So we'll have two large aggregate stores feeding the railway, the port, and the... Back to what I might do is put another aggregate in between 
possibly feeding off of another line here, possibly out of that one. So what we're going to have is a whole production area here. I think we got the core in. It's got a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be, but <laughs> um, that's the way it goes. In fact, I think we're going to need a bulldozer out here. What we got here? Year 22, year 23. Um, I think we'll just buy the one bulldozer and tell it to come out here. It can come out in its own pace. I mean, it'll probably take a week of Sundays to get out here, but so we, we're building out this area here. I mean, it's, we've got a lot to build and uh, lots of things to think about. And I think I'm going to jack the priority on this. Um, you need asphalt. That's because all my asphalt trucks have... Um, I think you've got a couple of asphalt trucks, haven't you? Hopefully he will deliver the asphalt to that and get that built. Um, let me just come out to here. Yeah, we've, we've got... The trouble is we got the trucks in the wrong place. This is the reason why I wanted. So we're just going to cancel you for the moment. And hopefully that asphalt truck will go somewhere where there's um, other vehicles piled up waiting to deliver asphalt or something stupid like that. Um, uh, yeah, we've got excavators. I think for the moment, um, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> right, we're on the 29th of September. I just want to go down and check what's going on down here. I want to see how well uh, everything's being built here. Um, what's up with this one? This one's not assigned, that's a bit of a... Let's see how the water's going now. Let's just take a quick look. We've increased the water flow, but what we got is a... we got more water flowing through here. We've got the water now up to... 70% and we're not getting enough water now from here I, I think I am going to double down a little bit here guys um, we've got capacity for a water pump and we can get that as a reserve tower um, I know it's a bit overkill but I'm just very twitchy about the idea that um we're not going to have the water in this area we've still got some more more apartment blocks to build so i am going to put another we could put a small water well in this will produce another 70 cubic meters and it won't actually need staff so we could put it out a bit further out couldn't we something like that Water quality 89%. So we'll put you there. You can go there. You built there. And what we can do is now the question is big pump, small pump. Um, <laughs> uh, um I think we're because uh, we're just supplementing the main supply system I think we're just put a small pump in and put it in parallel with that you can go there you can go there can't build that we can build that we're gonna have to connect up the pumping station with a thank you game <laughs> it's about saying that this is going to be on the wrong side and we'll just tuck that in
and we'll just build that in to supplement this we also need that built and that built we've now got the prison built and we got no no prisoners okay um we need this set to 50 percent now the, the other main prison is over here it's not no, here it's there and we don't actually have a full prisoners but i did this is something i picked up um i can't remember this was the video i was watching but you can actually move prisoners so what we can do is do something like that and what that will do missing supplies for prisoners okay <laughs> i'm a bit premature there um um, I think it's food. I'm gonna have to add you there. You can deliver food, and I think that's all you deliver, isn't it? This is a little bit messy, isn't it? Um, clothes. And you can deliver clothes, hundred percent. Not that you're going to need it, and I suppose this one delivers meat. So it's all a little bit messy, but okay. So we'll just get that in there. Prison, I mean, it should supply the necessary. Um, I, I do need to tidy this up a little bit. Right, let me just see how. Right. This now is set up. So we can tell it to build that, 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 got that one there. A lot of conveyors, there's also a power substation in here that needs to go because there's just, I think there's just one tower, I think it's this one, which isn't in range of a substation. So we can build that through um, gravel asphalt. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we got that built. Let me just zoom up to see whether the doctor's surgery is ready to be built as well. That's connected. So we'll connect that up. Um, probably be neglecting our road crew here. Um, <laughs> We get that built there. Probably going to interfere with my harvest, but that's the way it is. We'll just get this built here. This should get picked up by the. Um, is it five? Is it like you? Why is that not? excavator crew on this i want to check i'm absolutely convinced that the pavers the new version of the paver is available no it's not i'm sure it was 1957 and and what we'll do is just take another look at here so yeah, right, we've now finished this. We're building the sewage line here. And that needs to be built. This is ready to go, but we don't have a power supply, which means we've got to build in this stuff. <laughs> so there's no point in putting any workers in there. We've got a little bit of a problem with the road crew there. Um, I think that might be a bit too short, so... We'll get the guys on there. So we still need to build this area in. Let's just see what my trains are doing because I'm aware that I'm running out of time on this video. Um, we are, I think I'm building this in. Because what I want to do is get up through here. Then what we'll do is we'll put a crossover here so that I don't have to build this. And then we're going to push right through to the border. Um, oh, that's something else I was going to do. I was going to put a second rail construction train on. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. I forgot completely. I was so wrapped up in trying to sort out my other area. And then we've got this crew here. And then what I'll probably do is put the bridge over the railway. 
during the winter because what I'll do now is just play on until the spring because obviously I can't do much through the winter itself. But this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.